Okay, welcome back. Um, this is going to be a really quick video. I think I should probably mention a little bit about using uh, the spacebar, tab, and enter in C++ programs. So basically, all three of those, as long as they're not in the middle of a string or like in the middle of like a, a keyword or an, you know, a symbol or something like that, just don't matter at all. So what that means is basically, well, here I have this kind of written out. I have a little comment section down here. I guess we don't really need that. Um, but you know it's kind of spaced out because it's easy to read. So if we go build and run this program, by now you know that well this is going to print "Hello World" on the screen. So well, what if we went like this? You know, what if we just took out some of these spare lines? You know, like this, um, and you know we changed you know where we've pressed enter and stuff. So if we run this, um, what we're going to find is look, it's doing exactly the same thing. It's printing "Hello World," nothing's changed. Um, so I just type it that way because it's a little easier to read because if you just look at this it's a lot more compact sometimes it's a little harder to see so you know how you do that it's kind of personal preference maybe I could do it like that instead um, as far as using spacebar goes yeah I can put a bunch of spaces here you know maybe here or something um, it can just separate it all out like this and just make it really hard to read um, but when we compile this again um, and then run it you know, again, so we've used enter in a bunch of weird places and spacebar in a bunch of weird places, nothing's changed. Um, if I use spacebar though here, when I try and build and run that, um, it's going to give us an error because now this what single less than sign and single less than sign um, just are not correct to use. So anyways, we'll do that, we'll put that back to normal and then maybe I want to put, you know, a bunch of spaces right here or something. So now we'll try and compile it and see what we get. So we'll go like that. Well, we fixed this part. Um, we fixed the insertion operator, but we put a bunch of spaces inside of a string, and then you know those spaces showed up because that's part of our string. It's just a bunch of spaces that we're trying to print to the screen. Um, so that's uh, that covers spacebar, and then using tab is pretty much exactly the same. Um, you know these are kind of tabbed out to a certain. <laughs> this is kind of hard to read now. Um, here we'll send that back a little bit, and like that. Um, so these are kind of tabbed out to a certain place. Um, say I had uh, here more lines of code in this program. Oops. Something like that, right? Um, you know, I can tab some out like this. I can tab that one farther, maybe that one. Uh, maybe I can bring this one back or something, put it on the same line, whatever. Uh, so now when we go build this, um, we're going to compile it and you see they're all just printing in the same place. They're printing down in a straight line. So that's just kind of showing you how do that stuff works. And then also same thing, this is along the same lines. Um, we could move these brackets, oops, um, for example. Uh, so like the space, the tabs, and the enters are kind of meaningless. So I could just put this, you know, this open brace here and maybe I could put this closed brace here. I could write the whole program in a straight line if I wanted really. Um, do we just write it this way because it's just easier to see. So it's printing the same thing. Um, now this is kind of preference. Some people like to put this opening brace up here, um, whereas I like to put it down here. Just kind of I like to line them up, uh, the opening with the closing brace, so you know I just don't get lost. But there you go. You can kind of play around with it. You can put stuff all over the place, and as long as you're not you know putting something like putting a space in the middle of a C out, then you get co and at you know or something like that, or in the middle of a string, then you should have no problems.